now we want to prove many things if you remember our lecture 8 there i have sized my inverter i have also quoted few term like unloaded delay or loaded delay uh, i'll go to those things but before that let me do one thing the easiest one to reduce this tr so to reduce this tr we can reduce sorry we can increase the power supply vdd supply because there are many equations but in rough scenario you can see you can say that hey the delay are coming mostly because here in the output we have a load capacitance currently this is a isolated inverter we don't have anything in the load side right but but internally a inverter have the capacitance and if you just remember the theory we can tell that here any inverter in unloaded fashion also actually have a load capacitance here right and we are getting this delay you can see we are from here it is not uh, like visible but see here we are having a delay right and this under swing is also because of a capacitor i have explained that theory in theory why it is coming and from the schematic we can see here here there is no load capacitance so why this delay is there because internally we have the load capacitance so now the delay what we are finding this is the unloaded delay because there is no load is there but still we are having a delay so this is the unloaded delay so in unloaded delay only we will use the three technique so first one is the increase the size second is reduce your power or increase your powers to reduce the delay time and then load capacity and reduce the load capacity but here there is no load capacitance anything is coming from the internal only which we can't touch now because it is defined by, by, by because it is defined by the foundry so we will apply the first method and that is increase the power to reduce the tr time but before that one thing you need to know here see this is your power we are using the maximum possible power here 1.8 so what i'll do i'll reduce this power to one probably so if i reduce to one that means our tr should increase the in the next simulation right so we will check that but before that let me do one thing let me copy this because uh, i can directly i can directly paste it in the next time okay <clears throat> so let me close it let me do the net listing net listing done simulate it and let me copy this so this time we are expecting our tr the rise time should be increased should get increased because our power got reduced so i have typed this and see now our t10 or our b out when it's 10 percent is not 1.8 because our maximum value is one only so it's 10.1 right you got it and the t90 will also reduce and it is not 1.6 it is 0.9 okay and then can i print directly let me see t90 minus t10 and see dear it got increased previously it was around 34 picosecond and now it is 60 picoseconds so we have proved this theory that hey if you increase your power then your speed of the design will increase right but the con is that if you increase your vdd then your power consumption will rise by quadratic because in the power if you remember square vdd square is there we will do this in power analysis when we will do so that's why we can't just increase our power supply to have a faster circuit we need to balance these things out if we if our customers say hey we need a, a absolutely faster circuit power we can manage we can waste our power we have lot of power for example desktop desktops are connected to the sockets so we have the power power, power like we don't have any limitation po for the power so that's why desktops are mostly desktop chips are faster than the laptop chips because in laptop we need to save our power so that's why we don't uh, go the like fire up our design we limit our power supply so that we save our battery so every time we need to balance out okay so this is the first thing now the second technique and that is increase the size of our inverter so we will try that we will go um, not here we will go back to 1.8 1.8 again so if okay 
So with 1.8, if I again run, I'll get this one. But now what I'll do, I'll increase the size of both PMOS and NMOS. And we will try to see if anything, like we'll get some speed, res speed response or not. So to go inside E, yes. And here, if you Q, it, it was two, so let us make it four and it was one let us make it two so we are making it twice the size twice the reference inverter size and save it and come out and do net list and just check if it is visible here yes it's 0.2 and our pmos is of 0.4 save and close it and simulate yes will it reduce our time like will it make the circuit go faster in theory i have explained okay we will see so this is your yeah so this is your t10 perfect and then t1.6 this is your t90 and we will do again print t90 minus t10 and in your surprise it is mostly same see here it is 34 pico here also is 34 pico little improvement but why so see it is a unloaded delay analysis there is no load right so in an unloaded delay analysis if you just refer your theory or my lecture 8 so there i have said you if you increase your inverter by for example twice the size you are also increasing the capacitance the internal capacitance by the twice the size both will get cancelled mostly so that, that therefore will get the same response there is no profit of increasing the size of an unloaded inverter but we will get the benefit if we have some load here and we will show that in some time so to show that to you i need to connect a load here so let us connect a load here so i'll do shift i i'll go inside device and cap i guess so we'll take this one because already ground is attached to it so we'll come here we'll paste it here and then where we need where so w and connect it here okay i think it could connect if it not connect connect if it had not got connected in net listing will get something and in net listing i think it got connected but let me see let we can verify right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, here see your c1 it is between net 1 and 0 and it is of 4 femtofarad and of multiple 1 and net one but it should not be net one it should be v out so there's some some issue i think so to be sure let do one thing let do one thing not be let, let not confuse ourselves just delete it here x uh, have somewhere from here and then come here and then join it here and now do net listing and uh, now we got v out so like this you, you can debug your uh, design always okay and also what we'll do we will increase it to one picofarad one picofarad is a huge but let's do it and by this way we are actually increasing the load capacity and previously we have a unloaded delay where load capacity probably in some femtofarad very small but now we are increasing the load capacitance and we know from the theory if we increase the load capacitance then the delay will increase so and at least it so with this simulation what we are expecting that hey our tr value should go up so let us see it this is done let me copy this oh out of interval mm, let me see why it is going out of interval plot v out oh v out got distorted Oh it, oh, it is actually too much. 4 picofarad is too much for it to handle. I think 1 picofarad it could handle. 
and let me do net listing save close simulate and let me plot uh, before that let me set plot trans one and then uh, plot v out yeah so it is very bad actually because see we we, we are uh, this type of response imply that we are using it to faster input to first clock so that our output is not getting settled and before that only an output getting settled means we are charging and discharging our capacitance and here we have increased the load capacitance so charging and discharging time are increasing but our clock frequency is very low and here clock frequency means this pulse so to work with one pico only i need to increase the clock frequency so let me do this let me make it 5 nano and the period should be roughly 10 nano and go for 20 nano uh, uh, 10 pulse and let me increase it to 20 nano here yeah. transient analysis do go for 20 nano second and then at least save close it and simulate it will be interesting actually your tr will be huge so it will prove that hey if you increase your load capacitance your trans uh, your delay will increase okay now plot v out now also it is getting some shape of our output we still need to use a lower speed clock here actually but uh, we won't be doing that let's do one thing let's reduce this capacitance actually uh, to no you want with one pico fair only okay okay we won't reduce it so what we'll do we will again slow make the sl slow clock 10 period of 20 and 10 okay and here transient let's do it for 40 seconds because slower the clock more the time we need for simulation right so 40 in a second and then at least save simulate delay delay would be huge here now you will see let me plot v out now it is a little bit like we know this is our output if you still confused then let me place v in also see your v in is up your v out is down v in so it is but it is taking a lot of this rise time you see how how much rise time and the fall time and this is all because of the charging time of your huge capacitance which we have connected here load capacitance so it's okay but this rise time and fall time will again reduce if you can increase the size of your uh, inverter and one good thing is that actually if you go inside see it is of four we had increased in the last simulation right after that also it is taking so much time but it's okay yes go back okay so let's do one thing uh, let me quickly calculate this control c and control v and control c and control oh control v won't work middle middle uh, button of your mouse will work here measure and then print what to print t90 minus t10 and see brother it is coming in nanosecond 2.5 nanosecond previously it was 334 pico seconds and this is coming due to this one pico farad of capacitance if you are still not convinced let me reduce it to uh, what give me a number 500 uh, 0.5 pico farad okay 0.5 pico farad okay and let me copy this okay you will remember right 20 uh, roughly 2.5 okay let me copy it 2.5 2.5 nanoseconds so let me close the simulation simulate it oh, no 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 at least i need to do at least at least save and then simulate five pico fat is there okay so now our delay time should reduce we'll see because we are reducing the load capacitance according to theory it should reduce let me copy this and before that let me see my v out how it is looking i think now v out will be more 
faster from here you can't appreciate but yeah when i calculate it you will appreciate it this is your t10 and this is your t90 t90 and then print t90 minus t10 and see it is 1.2 nanoseconds previously it was 2.5 nanoseconds so it reduced so it's hence proof that hey you reduce your cl get the faster circuits another thing we can uh, again see and that is increasing the size previously when we are increasing the size that time we are getting no benefit because there was no load but now if you increase your side size you will get a benefit so i won't be touching my cl cl will be 0.5 picofarad only and let me copy it so that we will compare it so this is the current delay you have now now i'll do nothing i'll just increase the size of my inverter so i'll make it again twice the size so eight and twice the size four save it go out net list it save okay in at least let us check are these things yeah these things are coming here save close this simulate so this is the time for the final challenge of theory we are challenging the theory actually so okay before that let us print oh what happened okay no let me simulate it again and people who haven't subscribed you know what to do right okay plot v out and see your view out if you can appreciate v out are becoming faster actually because you have larger uh, pmos and mos larger size means low resistance means more current means your capacitor capacitor capacitors are charging faster so that's why fast response but we will prove it using our formula here copy paste if you are liking you can share also these videos <laughs> to help me out uh, okay and then print t90 minus t10 and see here now it is a 10 to minus 4 so it is reduced to 0.63 nanoseconds previously it was 1.2 nanosecond now it 0.63 nanosecond if you can't reduce your load capacitance can't touch your power then increase the size of your inverter if your customer need a speed or more performance oriented circuits like he said hey i want to make it for laptop only so power are limited load capacity also i can't touch so that time you will say hey then give me more space <laughs> it will be more thick so that's why mostly what have been uh, your gaming laptops are thicker right because like they, this is not directly actually coming there because it become thicker because we need to f need to have fan heat sinks but it is mostly we need to have more denser circuits more denser means uh, denser means see how we increase the size of our uh, inverter or the pmos we don't increase it like if we are using a two width of pmos we don't make it two to four actually we use two parallel pmos we want eight we will use four parallel pmos so what we are doing we are increasing the density of the pmos or the devices and mos so if you increase the density of your pmos and mos you need to have more space to dissipate the power as not power heat otherwise your circuit will burn out so that's why mostly gaming laptop or performance oriented laptop have thicker body fans are ru running in full throttles right that's the reason but hey in uh, if you go in two 2.5 3 lakhs of laptop price then they are becoming thinner because then they use advanced design okay but for our rough understanding that is the fact you need to do everything this is your homework and thanks a lot for your time i will see you in our next we will explain about power right so till then tata bye bye